Okay, we're gonna do some urban exploring this morning. I found a secret route between the Econo Lodge, where one friend is staying, and the Munger Moss, and we're gonna have to actually cut through some fences by the expressway, so. Oh, this is a restaurant that went out of business. We were gonna actually think of eating somewhere close by, but I guess the two places they used to be here don't exist anymore. Sorry about the wind noise, I'll try to block it with my hand here. Yeah, yeah, you gotta go to the right of this fence right here. <clears throat> and then we'll come in at the back corner. We'll come in at the back corner of the uh, uh, Munger Moss Motel. I can't stop now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nothing to stop us from walking right onto the expressway over there. Grass isn't actually that wet, just a little bit. As you can see, the sky is looking kind of ominous, but it is. It was worse about an hour ago, so I think we could uh, look forward to about another hour to start our adventure. We're going to start first at the Case Knife Factory, and then after the Case Knife Factory, we're going to go where down the Hubble Telescope, I think. The reproduction creation, whatever you want to call it, half-scale model of the Hubble telescope. Yeah, yeah, we're not going to go up to the real Hubble's telescope. <laughs> it wouldn't fit on a pole. Bob doesn't like holding his breath that long. So, yeah. <clears throat> now I'm guessing, if I was to make an educated guess, I would think Route 66 is that frontage road over there just past where we're seeing the expressway. See where that truck is, that blue truck came down? There's a road up there, and I think that road is Route 66 because it runs along the expressway. Oh, could be, I don't know. It's got to be either that or this. Well, this is the ramp, so no, it can't be the ramp, so the only two lane is there. And this is a place that says don't go there, keep out. It's got the barbed wire fence and it's got the uh, barbed wire at the top like a prison. Yeah. For some reason they don't want us there. I don't know why. People just aren't very friendly in these small towns, are they? Yeah. My gosh. Yeah, I just come down to climb your fence and say howdy and you don't want me there. <laughs> now watch, they'll have closed up the break between yesterday and today because they saw me go through it. <laughs> I think it'll still be there. If you don't leave me a tiny place to squeeze through, or I'll find a way to squeeze through it. Yeah. Yeah, it's still open. You can't quite squeeze a motorcycle through there, though. Here's my little secret passage. So if you're ever at the Munger Moss Motel, just wander around the edges. And this is the secret passage to get through. And then I think it's actually easier to go back through this way than it is to go down that way. So basically you just circle around the back to the far part and then you'll actually on the end come out into the regular area where you're supposed to be. Yeah, you notice why I say supposed to be? Now I'm wondering, was this some kind of a, a boiler thing where they... Honeymoon yeah, I bet you that's a boiler building where they actually produce some kind of steam heat for the uh, buildings and stuff like that in the 30s and 40s. I bet you, yeah. Yeah, because there's, like, there's a well right there. Yep, there's where the water supply is and everything. Or it's just a well house, but you know, well it could be the well house with heat to keep the pumps from freezing up or, or a combination, I don't know. Maybe a combination well house and steam room, I don't know. There's a propane tank, poor person sitting, you know, if that lets go, poor person in that building right there. Okay, so that's it for this tour. I'm gonna keep this kind of short because I have no idea how I'm gonna be able to upload it depending on the internet I get.